Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to Freddy Fish and Luther's Maze Madness. We only have two worlds left, so let's try to make our way through them today, shall we? We're on level 41, only ten levels left. Let's go. This maze is amazing! Welcome to the Coral Reef. This is a very pretty looking world with some very pretty music, and this introduces the final enemy of the game, the Junkyard Dogfish. He is by far the most aggressive enemy in the entire game. As you can see, he's literally just trying to swim as close to me as possible. Yeah, if he thought the shark was aggressive, he's got nothing on this guy. Anyhow, let's explore the level, shall we? Oh boy! This is also a fast little bugger. And some parts of this uh, terrain, they look solid, but you can actually swim through. That's fair. And the hinges are back in full force. Oh, hi, hi, no, 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 no. Bad dog. Thank goodness the hinge is stopping him from getting any closer. Alright, if I can find a way to get to that whirlpool, that will be lovely. Because I need that starfish. Okay, good. I was purposefully holding back there so the dogfish wouldn't get through. Cause that's the one nice thing about the dogfish, he's very easy to manipulate. Because he basically always tries to swim close to you, even if there happens to be a wall in his way. Oh no! Nope, 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 nope. I'm gonna book it. Yeah, I'm gonna take the long way around, he thinks. It's much safer. Yep, yeah, cool. That's that room dealt with. Yay! Oh, well, I won't be able to get that last pearl, but that's alright. Oh, that's a dirty trick, Uncle Donald. Nope. No. Okay. Maybe this will work out. Alright. I would love to get that present. Darn you, Kelpgate. I gotta stay over here to distract the dogfish. I do love presents on my birthday, though. Even though it's not my birthday, but I still like presents anyways. Also, you got these cute little lobsters here that are squirting the water at us. And the green sponges are back. Because why wouldn't they be? Green sponges are actually my favorite variant of the sponge. There's one more that we haven't seen. And that one's pretty annoying, actually. Just putting in my two cents. Yes! The dogfish also loves water. He loves just running into the geyser over and over. Oh, hi. Um, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Why? Okay, it would not let me swim down. I was holding down when I passed over there. one peanut butter and jellyfish sandwich left. And boy, howdy, it is a good thing that I picked that up. Uh, the extra life up. Alright, this is another new gimmick. Can we hit this? A bubble comes up the top. With the dogfish, it's easy to trap them. That way you can save on your bubble bath. <laughs> Bad dog. <laughs> oh, I love those. Those aren't terribly effective against other enemies because they're way more unpredictable, but the dogfish, you can predict pretty much exactly where they're going to be at any given time. So they're a lot better. So you can see over here, these are orange sponges. These cannot be destroyed. Literally nothing you do can destroy those sponges. They just bounce around forever. All right, now here's the thing. Ice cream on the right, and I will die if I open the gate. Cotton candy on the left. Cotton candy is worth more, don't you know? Okay, this is... Playing a danger. 
dangerous game here. But one nice thing about the orange sponges is that they can be used as very effective barricades. Deesh. The guys are almost screwed me over. Which would not be very nice. I do adore the music in this world, though. It's, it's a shame that the dogfish are kind of screwing it up. And... Cool. Second level of the coral reef. Time to get all those kelp bees! All right, no more Mr. Nice, Freddy. I'm, I'm, I'm using my bubble bath. All right, we've got bubbles. Hi! Yikes! Rude. I actually think the orange sponge is gonna be my savior. Because I can protect him from the dogfish. It's been a while since I've manipulated the random drops. I don't think I've done that since World 2. Alright, I guess there are no random drops in this room. Yeah, forget being able to make the enemies lose sight of you here. Dogfish always knows exactly where you are hiding. <laughs> the anglerfish actually was used as a shield. That's kind of nice. Alright, how do we want to do this? Obviously, that, there's a birthday cake there with my name on it. Property of Artie. The birthday boy, even though his birthday was well over a month ago. Excellent. Two purple sea urchins. I like the way this is going. Bubble. Um, yes, please. Yeah, get over here. May have screwed that up. So I'm just now seeing this. Never mind. I did okay. I did my best and I'm having a grand old day. Except those guys will leave me alone. Oh! I forgot all about this room. I think the one and only thing that can confuse dogfish are the whirlpools. Pearl me up, Scotty! Extra life, please? No extra life for me. <laughs> Bad dog. That dogfish starts hanging. Okay, cool. So he thinks I'm in the lower left corner, so he's gonna swim over there, not knowing I'm gonna pop out of the whirlpool over here. That's some basic manipulation. Now I need to make sure I enter here when the anglerfish is not in my way. That was really close. But this means that I will be able to get that bubble. Ah uh hi. -huh. Dang it, you closed. That's alright. Oh wait, no, that's not alright. I can't get that pearl bag now, but that's alright. Pearl bag only has three pearls in it, and I'm probably not even close to getting an extra life anyway, so let's just run into this dogfish. 
Hi. 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 All right, we're on level three of the coral reef. These levels are pretty lengthy, as you can see. With that funky coral reef beat, it's awesome. Oh, more bubble bath. I will grab that later after I have probably used a lot more my bubble bath. What a life! Alright, boulders! Boing. Oh shoot! <laughs> Already got a little too cocky there. Well, the shark is kind of trapped there, so I kind of dig that. Well, I've already scoped out my final uh, kelp seed for the level. That's going to be the one in that gate. Oh yeah, and the, those worms can swim through the hinges. Kind of funny. But it makes sense, they're so small. Oh, that's bad. Luckily, I have bubble bath. Never underestimate a fish armed with deadly bubble bath. Sand dollar, the cookie gate will be mine. Oh wait, he can't even reach me. That's a dead end he's swimming in. Cool. Yeah, come up here, please. Oh, he made it out. Yeah, even though I was crushing that sponge against the wall, it ain't breaking. It is, it is orange. Hi. Hi. Over here, crab. Do 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 do. Better better. misinformed if you think that you can outsmart me. Although, admittedly, Mr. What a Life might be a bit of a problem. Take that, What a Life. Oh, um, I didn't really want to push that right there, but okay. Let's see, how to just. Oh, the boulder over there, that's all. Haboos! I'm not gonna one up for getting 10,000. Nope, 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 Those little pebbles. Small but ferocious. Red rocks are easily one of my favorite parts of the whole game. Oh sweet, what a life is trapped down there. Alright, over here. Yes! Excellent. Oh, thank you! Give me a sandwich. Alright, level four of the Coral Reef. Wow, this world is taking a while. Wow, I forgot Robert how big they are. Levels are. If memory serves, this is the level filled with lobsters and... Uh, junkier dogfish. Thus far, my theory is coming true. I believe this room has like a bunch of dogfish in it. Yep! Two. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is all coming together. You need the kelp seed inside that purple searching gate. I, that might be the only kelp seed. Oh, doggone. Well, I only get three pearls. That's annoying. Oh, yes. Because that one's trapped in the bubble, it acts like a shield, so the other one can't get fired. Nice. Alright, note to self. Don't start the level in that room. This is where having infinite bubbles as a junior helper really does help. I don't really care about that one shell over there. I don't want to have to go for all that trouble. This is Worm Paradise. Wait, how come I didn't eat that one more? I've made it to both sides of that gate, so I'm saving my starfish. There might be something else better that I can use it for. Nope, never mind. I'm stuck in that room. Come here. Oh, this might have been a level where, like, you can go one of two different routes. Oh, man. I should have gone that way. Oh, wait, I can go that way. No! I need that! Man, I thought the worm doodle lasted a little longer than that. Oh, botheration! Here comes the welcoming committee. You know, this game did not really make me want to like dogs when I was a kid. I did not like dogs when I was a kid. This game did nothing to help that. Okay. Cool. Yeah, the dogfish are kind of annoying to trap in cycles, because they always know when to double back to get you. Uh, that's a dirty trick, Uncle Donald. Dirty trick, Uncle Donald! <laughs> A very dirty trick. Alright. Come on. Move! Why is he guarding that? At least I know which whirlpool beats where. Okay, that dog is just being... Super annoying. Alright. Nope, no, no, no. Shoot! Dogfish are impossible to manipulate in that room. Uh oh. That was my last peanut butter and jellyfish sandwich. Dog on it. Literally, dog on it. Like, how are you supposed to make him go away? Because. You can't just wait for him to randomly change direction. That's not how this level works. That's not how the AI works. They always know exactly where you are and will always do everything they can to screw you up. Close the gate. Okay, why did my bubble not trap him? present over here, I will take the time to pick that up. Cool. I don't screw it to the bubble bath. I don't care if I run out of that stuff. Alright. New plan. I'm gonna need that worm doodle. Nope. 
Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Suffer the wrath of Artie. No, it doesn't last long enough. Game, could you have made the bubble appear earlier in this room? No, my bubble bath. Ride like the wind, bullseye! Exactly what I'm gonna do. I know I only had to get one of those, but still. I like getting everything. I'm a collectionist. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't get those two pearls, but that's alright. Final level of the coral reef. This is the one I remember the most. This is the one that I actually remember distinctly, because this is the one with the bonus room. And as you can see, the crack is right there. Alright, well, I'm taking advantage of this bubble. Psst! Hey, you! What a life! That kelp seed over there can be my last for the level. I don't care if I miss out on the cotton candy. This is the level, that, or this is the room that has the scepter in it. not hit the trigger for it, but that's okay. I don't even have this sea star anyways. But I have more bubble bath. Good. <laughs> Not sure what happened there. It wasn't letting me change direction, and thank you, Invincibility Frames, for not letting that squid kill me. Or, I'm sorry, eat my sandwich. No one dies in this game, they just get their sandwiches stolen. Alright. Habonk! Oh, you jerk! Habonk. Spiral room is kind of interesting. And then that room below me leads back to the first main room. Come and get me. Alright, now we gotta go and get that bonus room. Uh, yeah. Alright, we gotta be fast though, because that bonus room, this is probably the most likely bonus room in the game to seal up on you because you take too long. Alright, there we go, it appeared. You actually do not want to go back to that first room because I'm maneuvering the hook or the hinges. It's not very fun. Also, I'm not sure if you actually physically can maneuver that way. Of course, I could be dead wrong about that. But we'll make it in time. It's tight, but you'll make it in time. Never mind! You won't make it in time. Well, you know me, I don't like showing off. <laughs> I don't like missing out on something important like that. So, back we go. 
Out of my way, for goodness sakes. Dear me, what is the state of this whole thing coming to? My bubble. That's bad. That was also bad. I was hoping to hit it with the claws. Yeah, follow me. I'm going to Miami. Not really. Same thing happened again. Can I pull- oh! <laughs> you can actually stun the enemies through the wall with the rocks if you're good. Alright. Take two, I think. I would like a free present, but not that badly. Firecracker, that's what I'm after. With bubble bath! Getting to the bonus will be doable. Alright, push the boulder down here. Yeah, this is- never mind, this is a much better way. I don't know what I was even talking about last time. Oh, I'm- you are mine. Be my valentine. Is that a yes or a no? Imagine going to the Valentine's Day dance with a duck. Like, not like as your date, but just like you are bringing a duck. In your arms at the Valentine's Day dance. That would be amazing. Well, I get to have fun here and hopefully get a one up. Because I'm running dangerously low on sandwiches. Because these rude dogs keep eating them all. I did not make the sandwiches for you. This is just like that Sesame Street episode where Cookie Monster made these cookies and like they look really good. And he's like, oh yes, we have like six cookies, this is great. And then like all of his friends one by one come up and are just like, oh hey Cookie, I'm really hungry, I hope you don't mind if I have one. And he's like, oh. And like, there's one kid who takes half of the cookies. It's like, what? Come on, dude. Have you, have you no manners or etiquette at all? The answer was no, he did not. And, like, Cookie Monster's like, oh, but me have zero cookies, so it's okay. It's like, uh, Cookie Monster, you do mean, realize that means you have absolutely nothing, right? Oh! <laughs> People, you, you know what I'm talking about. Alright, that's it for the Coral Reef. That took longer than I expected. And the last world is probably going to take even longer, but last world of the game, we're going to end there. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope to see you next time for the last official episode of Maze Madness. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless.